smaller than usual <laughs> now you can see my body is attached to my head so you can see the actual size of my face that's cool and my hair I feel like you have never seen my hair like full length maybe this is what's going on with my hair right now it's really long like up to almost up to my belly button maybe it is and usually I, I cut my hair like here and then I don't go to the haircut place for like a year because I'm too lazy and I'm too broke it's expensive so I probably grew like this long only in a year story of my life I'm just trying to wake up from the power nap that I had I don't usually take a nap but Sometimes I like to lay down, but I'm usually up, you know, in the daytime, but today I was a good girl. I woke up at 5 in the morning and oh, I shot this cool time-lapse. Time-lapse videos are so fun to film like you don't know what's gonna happen until you see it and it's like a... It's so easy and simple, but it's such a great like a little gift for myself. Just a surprise! Anyway, uh, yeah, I need to finish this coffee. Ah, so good. But yeah, I was drinking coffee. It was hot and delicious. And the next second, I noticed that I was dead asleep for a while and this had gone cold. So a little sad. I thought that coffee would wake me up. Doesn't work on Yoko. Anyway, let's keep on chatting for a little while because I like this. So hospital, I went to hospital because I... I go every two months because I have ulcerative colitis which our Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had in 2006 or 7 I don't remember like the first time he had to resign so I've had the disease since 2015 I think when I was doing all these political activities and going on TV for security bill that we wanted to pass and that was 2015 so yeah <laughs> that's how i remember the year do you guys do it too i i i am so much involved in politics that i remember the year and everything that happened in the year by political uh events like especially election lets me uh, remember what happened and what i was doing uh, me having this uh, disease was a wake-up call for me like i was always a healthy person and i never treated my body like with a good care so um this disease let me realize that i do need to take care of my body health and my mental health i've been working on both and you can see on my instagram or on my personal facebook account that i am having a major uh, body transformation <laughs> and um, it's still ongoing fortunately at first i had to teach myself like what to do and what not to do but it's been it's i started to do that in may like early may so it's like early september so the entire four months what to eat when to eat and so on is like my habits now so i don't have to think or suffer at all and it's just all easy i won't be skinny because look at my muscle i don't work out and i already have muscles in june or so i started to see a little line up here and then now i see like two lines like this way like if i move my body in a certain way so i feel like oh maybe i can finally get six pack anyway i changed my habits and so on and i started to be in shape as a result my intention was to get rid of this inflama inflammatory state that my body was in like early may i actually did suffer a lot from this unknown stomach stomach pain and the feel, the sense of uh, con congestion congestion yeah and i was begging in bed like i couldn't even get up and so i was like i don't want this anymore like i'm sick of feeling sick and so then i i change i can't make that western sound like clicking sound so i just so since then, uh, my body started to change and my mood completely changed. I started to feel really, really good and people started to notice that I 
started to be really happy and they were <laughs> talking behind my back <laughs> saying something must be going on like privately but I'm like dude this is my effort also uh, was it June or so I met my life coach uh, named Lily Ma so I get to have a life coaching session with her and she she made me realize a lot of things about me that I wasn't aware of and then I started to understand how to be myself like I regained myself and um, I stopped explaining myself to everybody because she pointed out that you can see that I make poli political videos and I try to explain everything and I hated misunderstanding and I talked and talked and talked showing proof evidence introducing all this data and so on I was so desperate and why was I desperate? Because that's the attitude that I had towards my father when I was growing up. I remember that my voice was not heard to adults when I was little because I didn't, I didn't have this language ability that I have today as a grown-up. But back then, even as a toddler or in elementary school, I remember understanding adults. But I didn't have the right to speak up in the adult meeting and so on which my mother or my father would take me to right like i'm participating there but i was not able to speak up right and i the frustration was there and especially to my father he was so strict he told made sure that i behave well and that i have common sense and so on and it was really tough you know my parents are very loving but somehow somehow i had a hard time growing up it, shaped my personality right even like even though i was a good girl i was i was like what was the movement that leftists do i forget so through the session with lily i started to understand how why i am the way i am i don't have to judge like it was if it's good or bad it's just how it is now and how it was shaped and also she let me find my one word if you don't know what one word is you have to go check out evan carmichael's channel my one word is open mind and i realized that doing all these political things i was not following my heart that I want to be open, you know, and I want to believe in all kinds of possibilities and so on. But me trying to speak up and in order to be heard and recognized and be accepted by others and trying to get rid of all these misunderstandings, just like I would to my father. My father was so strict, he couldn't understand where I was coming from. I would explain, explain, explain and always fail. I was just trapped in that pattern, you know, and, and now I see that I was doing that with politics. So my previous video, <laughs> here, here comes the politics part. So um, in my last video, people didn't like it. And um, I actually took notes to what to tell you guys. But you know what? I actually, <laughs> me, old Yoko would care and be very negative about the reactions I got from the Western people. Like, no all people of course there are understanding people but like some people just freak out right of course their viewpoint is on a different place than mine so i can understand what they're saying and where they're coming from and so forth but and old yoko would just explain like oh, this is why this is happening and this is what japanese people think and blah 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 and honestly, after all of this um, life coach sessions, I, I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel like ex explaining myself anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But but this is a new me, and I have to accept myself for the new me that I am. I have to think of how to work it out in this situation that the fact that I don't want to explain. Yeah, it's just life is just interesting. You know, if you we have all these presets in life, you know, from crying out loud when you or the moment that you were born to, you know, you start crawling and you um, show your emotions on your face, like all the happiness, sadness, so on, all the need to drink 
your mother's milk and so on speak a few words and so on and go to school fall in love do sports or whatever you like find a job uh, get married have babies and somebody dies you go to a funeral blah 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 like all these press presets in life you encounter some obstacle or very di difficult situation and then you tackle that and you learn something and then you actually start embracing the experience that you just had and you go to the next stage onto the next onto the next and you step up right and with your intention you can prepare on like different um stages for your life as well and um I think I'm doing a good job with that. I'm such a thinker that I find assignment for myself that oh, this is a part I want to grow and I, oh, I go all in and then I find another one. I want to grow this area of my life. I want to I go straight in. I learn, 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 learn. And um, it's so interesting that everything is just a gift, you know, you guys being angry at me or you guys having different perspectives on me it, it's uncomfortable you know it's not fun when you have a, you have conflicts with other people maybe it feels like a betrayal to each other that's the sense is like that maybe i actually knew how you guys were going to react like some of you guys but i dared to go straight in and touch the uh bee bee nest <laughs> we have the expression in japan i knew that you guys were gonna react that way but i had to just see that like the last push for myself or to reconfirm you know some things are just you just can't control and i will just accept um how western people feel i could explain where we japanese are coming from by the way the opinions that I show in my videos are not my personal opinion, okay? It's it's Japanese conservative perspectives. So <laughs> that's why I see a problem. Our understanding is so much different from the our alliance countries. And that for me is such a critical situation. And uh, that's why I wanted to talk about all these things but I learned that I need to pick and choose who I talk to about these things like these uh, the the talks that I was sharing with you in the past not just the last video but um, all my videos it was like what I should share with like um, policy making people or activists or media people and so on and not regular citizens it's like a behind the scene talk you know where we think about all our strategy and so on and have a wide range of perspectives and thoughts and so on so i just learned that i don't have to share everything with everyone like i learned that i don't have to take the same step as everyone else i need to know who i am talking to so what i'm thinking now is that i'm not a people pleaser by the way you know that I don't like to be just nice to people. I'm here to express myself from the very, very beginning. That's why I enjoy art and music. I am good at those. My first YouTube journey was on music. I was covering all kinds of music, even heavy metal. Actually, I was covering metal only. Also, I love drawing. By the way, I just opened my Etsy store and I have no idea what I'm, if I'm doing an okay job there. Like, uh, I'm new to Etsy. I don't even know if I'm doing everything right, but I just opened a store and you guys can purchase my artwork. I'll add more and more. So my artist side needs a comeback. You have to do what you really, really enjoy from the bottom of your heart. I didn't I I have thought that I was doing what I love but no actually I learned with my life coach that I part of me was actually suffering and being frustrated and just didn't like what I was doing and making myself sick like literally and oh so hospital every time I go to the hospital like every two months I get my blood tested and this time it was very good the crp the inflammation uh, um uh, number was really really like it was very low like i don't almost have it have inflammation 
according to the doctor i don't know uh, what's going on because we haven't seen inside of my body in a while but uh, that's what my blood shows and also it's it's insane insane i don't know how to say insane in english but um he said that it's probably looking good but i will have to keep taking medicines but so letting go of these um, emotional burdens is actually lifting me up like physically and i'm feeling great it's not like i give up on politics i just i just have to choose the right topic to the right people i just have to think about this tpo time place and i just have to know who i'm talking to and so on anyway this video is getting long so thank you so much for watching till the end i know this was a little different than usual i started to record like pieces of my life and i'll put them together and post on this channel i was using my vlog channel before but but i realized that i just want to be me on this channel not caring about what people feel because that's their problem i'm gonna just bring everything here so if you are were following on my vlog channel sorry but thank you just watch this channel okay i'll be uploading all kinds of things here again thank you so much so i will talk to you guys later bye